how is it going? Val here. So today we're going to be doing a ladder stitch on these. So I got these, actually Eli was the one who gave them to me, but you can find these at Hobby Lobby. They come like this. I do got my thread already, um, I already threaded my needle. So first of all, I want to say thank you guys so much for showing love here on YouTube and also showing love on my TikTok as well as all um, social media platforms. Thank you guys so much. But if you guys aren't subscribed here to my YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Here's your earring. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your thread through the earring, right, just like that. And then you're gonna tie it. You're gonna tie one, what happened, where did it go? Okay, I have my camera set up in a weird, in a weird area. Okay, so you're gonna tie it once, right? Just like this, just like this just like oh my god just like that and then you're gonna tie it again you're gonna double knot it double one and two just like that okay you're gonna bring that up this one right here you, you don't really need this so what I do is cut that off and then it leaves a little thread. I go ahead and burn that piece off. Hold on. Just like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pick up one bead. Right? Just one bead. Leave your finger right there. It's going to look like this and then you're going to go down. And then after that, after right here, it's going to look like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go, so it's on the other side, right? The thread's on the other side. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up through the black bead. Just like that. On this side. Alright, that's just one. This is a ladder stitch, guys. And like I said before, a lot of people do theirs a lot differently. This is the way I do mine, and this is the way I'm going to show you guys. So next, you're going to pick up one black and one blue. Right beside it, go down. Just like that, and then go back up through the blue and the black and then tug at it for a bit you know and like to tighten it just like that so like that and then next you're gonna get a black one black one blue and one yellow So I like to have my finger right there and then pull down. And go up through the beads. Like that. And then let's go back down. So what we're gonna be getting is one black bead, one blue bead. Okay, one black bead, one blue bead, go back up through those two beads, and then one black bead, I don't know, I'm holding this very weirdly, it's like it's not the same, and the way I have my, um, 
my camera set up it's in a weird area now so it's like right beside me on my right hand side and it's usually like right in front of me so just bear with me it's very easy once you get the hang of it so there's your first little arch and then what you're going to do is you're going to continue the way back down you're going to pick up one black one blue and you're just going to continue going all the way around so I am going to come back at the endings to to show you guys how I ended. Okay guys, so we're at the ending now. Right here. I wasn't able to fit another um, part of the diamond right here. I wasn't able to. So what I'm going to do is... Okay, that's how it looks. So what I'm going to do is... What am I going to do? <laughs> I want to go... Okay, I don't know. All right, so what you're gonna do is go on the other side of the earring and then go back up through this last bead right here. Just like that, tighten it right here. After you go through the top one like that, tighten it. Then go back down through the two right beside it. Just like that, go on the other side, go back up through the two. Just like that, go back down do through the three. the other side and go back up through the three so this is technically um, like securing it because you know like you usually tie off your beadwork so I'm gonna show you I think I'm gonna tie right here actually I'm just gonna do one knot because like I said it's already hiding it by it's already hiding the um it's not hiding it's securing it for me by going up and down through the beads and it's actually hard to hide the the knot in um this ladder stitch and i've done plenty of ladder stitch and i never had any problems with anybody you know saying that the beads came off or anything like that because i do make that knot in there and you can't really see it but I know like some beaters like don't even tie they just leave it the way it is and I feel like that's not even securing it at all you know so that's the way I do it I do make that one tie in the middle and then what he, right here what I'm gonna do is I was gonna go back down but you can see that thread getting loose right there so I'm gonna go back up because I think it's just one bead so what I'm gonna do is go back up this one bead and then we're gonna go back down through the two right next to it. And I think that's where I'm gonna cut it off. Back down like that. And right here. And there it is guys. One side is completed. So now what I'm gonna do is, hold on, let me go look for my pliers. So I have these little feathers right here. I like to add them, you know, cause there's like a little loop right there. And I think it looks so much cuter when you add something to this centerpiece. If you have like a charms as well, look really nice too. So put that right there closed at okay and then get your hook since it's this way I gotta put it this other way and there it is guys one side is completed do you guys have any questions about what 
we just did go ahead and comment down in the comment box yeah until again we will see you guys bye guys